okay, I know, I get it, okay, yes, okay, okay, okay. I'm a hypocrite. What's going on everybody? SLB coming at you with another video where I look at the camera and I tell you stuff. I went to a convention. I went to the Chicago Comic Book and Entertainment Expo. Try saying that 10 times fast. Or as it's also known to the masses as C2E2. And I bought some stuff. I set out on a mission and I accomplished that mission. So let me go over what the mission was for you. And let's get to the haul. So one of the first things I did at the convention was I ran, I made a beeline for the CG booth, C CG booth, the CGC booth. What is CGC, you may ask? It is the Certified Guarantee Company. What they do is you take your comic books, you give it to them, you give them money, and then they go through it with a fine tooth comb with some nice white gloves and they see how pristine and pretty it is. And then they mail it back to you in a nice sealed sleeve with some nice plastic around it, nice hard plastic. And what that means is they look through it and they give it to you back to you on a scale of zero to 10. And that scale means either no money or more money, depending on who you ask. So I took three books to them. Uh, I don't have them on me right now because you know I gave it to them and they're gonna send it to me in like six weeks. So the, three, the first book I took to them was Captain America 103. And this is a friend of mine at work gave it to me. And you know, it was a nice book. It's an old book. It's like 50 years old. And I figured, why not? I'll get it graded. The second book I gave to them was Walking Dead 100. And this is the variant Chrome cover edition. And for those of you that don't know what happens in Walking Dead 100, skip ahead. That's the issue where Glenn dies. <clears throat> and I kind of pulled this weird thing when issue 100 came out is I bought all the covers, well, majority of the covers, and that was the one that I wanted to get graded because the chrome finish and everything like that, and I thought it looked nice, nice and shiny, because, you know, ADD or ADHD, and I thought that would be nice to get graded and put in a nice frame and hang on my wall. The last book I gave to them was Boondock Saints and Nomine Patre, issue one, signed by Sean Patrick Flannery. So here's the funny thing about CGC. If they don't witness the signature, they won't give you the signature series. I got this book signed years ago when I first met Sean Patrick Flannery at Wizard World convention. And since they didn't witness the signature, then I don't get the signature series. And that's kind of a bummer. But that's how life works. I know it's signed by him. That's all that matters to me. I'm never going to sell it. It's going to stay with me forever. I may even get buried with it or cremated, depending on which way I go. So another thing I did at C2E2 was I met some comic book artists and some writers. And one of my favorite artists ever is Ryan Otley. If you don't know who Ryan Otley is, he wrote one of my favorite books, top five books, called Invincible. Him and Robert Kirkman. Robert Kirkman wrote The Walking Dead. They wrote Invincible, and it's kind of a mishmash between Spider-Man and Superman about a teenage boy whose father's a superhero, and then the teenage boy gets superpowers, and there's aliens, and it's bloody, and it's gory, and like I said, it's one of my favorite books out there. So I got some prints from Ryan Otley. First print I got is of Invincible himself, and here it is, looking all nice. And I love this, and I love the fact that Invincible's in the foreground and all the supporting cast is behind it, and there's his signature right there. So this will be nicely tucked away in a nice little binder. Another print I got from Ryan Otley is he is currently co-drawing Amazing Spider-Man with Umberto Ramos and some other people, written by Nick Spencer. And this series so far has been great. They just started the Hunted story, which is great because Craven comes back and he's hunting Spider-Man. And he's also hunting all the animal type people in Spider-Man's rogues gallery and a couple of splish splash from other, you know, X-Men and Avenger stuff. And it's actually really good. But one of the covers he did was really great because I really love the way Ryan Otley draws the lizard. And here's that print right here. And it's very nicely done. I love the way the lizard looks. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? There we go. That's better. There we go. How about that right there? That's better. There we go. And I think that just looks amazing. I love that. I think that looks great. And that was Moose laying down. And like every other Transformers nerd in the world, I went and talked to Alex Milne. 
who, if you don't know who Alex Millen is, he's one of the artists on the IDW Transformers before the reboot right now. He's done lots of covers, lots of issues. He's a great artist. I got one of his prints. And years ago, uh, last year I got a Devastator print. And this year I had to get one of my favorite Soundwave, my favorite Decepticon print of him and all the cassettes. And I think this looks awesome. And this will go in the book too with all my other prints. And Moose is licking his chops. So upon the recommendation of a friend of mine who shall rename Nameless, he recommended Seven to Eternity, written by Rick Remender and drawn by Jerome O'Pena, who, if you haven't read Rick Remender's run on Uncanny X-Force with Jerome O'Pena drawing it, oh my God, you're missing out. It is so good. So good. But my friend insisted that I pick up another book of theirs, an indie book called Seven to Eternity, and I picked up volume one. And I haven't read it yet, but I will, and I will let him know how I think about it, what I think about it. I speak good English. Moving on the line of comic books I picked up, Hellboy has a special place in my heart. That's the first movie me and my wife saw together. Granted, she had some friends with her, but essentially that was the first movie we saw together, and at the end of the night, our first kiss we had was after Hellboy. And I've never read Hellboy before. I'm a terrible person, I know. And with the new Hellboy movie coming out, I figured, why not get started. So I picked up the first two trades. I picked up Seed of Destruction and Wake the Devil. And I read Seed of Destruction and it's good. It really is. And it'll get me reading more. So last year, let's rewind the clock a little bit. The guys at my local comic book store, they all recommended a book called Spencer and Locke written by, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your last name, David Poposi. And it's actually a really good book. It's kind of like what would happen if Calvin and Hobbes grown up solved crimes. But it's also a very touching story of dealing with past issues. And that's mainly what this book is about. So the first issue of number volume two is coming out in April next month. And the writer was at the convention again. I got one early. So if you get the opportunity, pick up Spencer and Locke and give it a read. I highly recommend it. So just like every big convention at C2E2, there's a lot of vendors from food, pop figures, comic books, pop figures, people selling costumes, pop figures, people selling replicas, pop figures, video games, pop figures, celebrities, pop figures, so many pop figures. And every year around C2E2, I try to meet up with my friends who do cosplay. Their name is Egg Sister Cosplay. Link to their website in the description. And I always try to get together with them and have a drink with them. And one of the vendors at C2E2 is a local brewing company called Revolution Brewing Company. And if you haven't had their beer, it is delicious. And they always have a special beer around C2E2 called Galaxy Hero. And if you haven't, oh my God, it's so good. So good. And if you happen to find it in your local store, please try it. So I'm sitting there hanging out with my friends from the cosplay group, and we're just sitting there having a beer, having a good time, hanging out, just relaxing for a bit. It's been a long day. And one of the guys that works the booth is sitting there asking questions to everybody. And of course, it's C2E2, so they're all nerd topics and geek culture. And I'm just sitting there having a good time, hanging out with Dana and Courtney and Dan. And we're just chilling out and having a good time. And I hear the questions. And I'm sitting there thinking, this person doesn't know the answer. So I raise my hand and I get one right. So he gave me a little koozie. And we're sitting there having a good time. We're laughing. We're talking. We're asking each other how the convention's going. And I hear another question. And I hear the person not getting the answer. I raise my hand. I got another one. So as we're saying our goodbyes, because she's got to go do her cosplay thing, I got to go buy more stuff. I walk up to the vendor and I say, you got any more questions for me? And he did. And I got it right. And I got another thing. Thank you, Revolution Brewing Company. Your beer is delicious. If you don't know me by now, if you want to know me, you got to know I'm a big, huge pro wrestling fan. You know, the guys that wear spandex and roll around in a ring together. People say it's fake, but guess what? It's real. And with WWE as the conglomerate as it is, and Impact not really speaking anything to me, and me being a big, huge fan. So last year in Chicago, a thing happened. It's called All In. Have you heard of it? And that was Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, coming to Chicago to do a big, huge wrestling event. And it was amazing. Sold out in half an hour or less, I think. So if WWE, the big, huge conglomerate it is, we need something different. Have you heard of AEW? And Marty Scroll, the Young Bucks, King Omega, we're at C2E2 doing autographs and photo ops. Unfortunately, I did not partake because I just didn't have the money. But I did have enough money for a shirt a convention exclusive shirt. To say I'm not excited is an understatement. 
So I met up with one of my friends and he's in line to get the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega autograph. And he's in line. I'm on the other side of the line. I'm just hanging out and talking to him. I'm not waiting for him. And as I'm standing there talking to him, I see something out of the corner of my eye. Or should I say, someone. And I try to be cool, I try to be collect, but sometimes I fangirl and I mark out like hell. Fucking Tony Schiavone. One of the best announcers in wrestling. He was just sitting there talking to somebody. I went up, shook his hand, and I marked out huge. Easily one of the highlights from the convention. Oh, and I got this shirt for a friend of mine. Hey, Lewis, give me your address. <laughs> You remember that part of the video where I told you I was only going to get comic book stuff? Well, guess what? I lied. So yeah, I kind of lied, and uh, I did get some toys. Uh, what kind of person collector would I be if I didn't get toys? So I did pick up some Hasbro stuff that I didn't have in my collection. I got Skydive, Air Raid, Fly Fire, and Trigger Happy, just because... Who's this guy going to go with? And I don't know if you've been keeping up with my videos or not, but I got into a new thing. They're called SH Figure Arts, and it's Marvel movie cinematic universe stuff that I've been getting into. And Bluefin was there, Mashi. I'm not proud of this. I also picked up Avengers Infinity War Captain America. And I also picked up Avengers Mark VII Iron Man with the Hall of Armor set. So that was pretty much my haul from C2E2. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, share, subscribe all that fun stuff. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. All that information and links will be in the description down below. This is SLB and that was my C2E to haul. And this is SLB saying, my childhood hates me. Peace out. Done. I'm out. <laughs> Pretty Prince. Bye -bye. The fur adds a lot of glare. I farted. It might smell because I had White Castle last night. Who's a good boy while Daddy was doing his video? Who's a good boy? Yeah, you good boy? Mm -hmm. My voice.